Hey everyone, time to play more Lemmings 2 levels with Tribes of Steel. This is a version 4.2. Uh, the levels I got to on Highland and a Classic have both been updated. Uh, I'm going to go back to do Highland for now. Um, so let's start there. And we will do this level properly this time, I believe. There is a little bit more water. Yes, there is. So that particular exploit has been closed off. Um, the rest of the real level wasn't really that much longer or more difficult. Um, I think there have been other very minor tweaks here and there, like maybe the ceiling here has changed a little bit. Um, uh, this is a downslope, I think, is meant to help out as well. Um, anyway, let's... Uh, See if I can remember what I was doing here last time. I only want to use one. Anyway, there we go. So even if the ceiling's changed, it's not going to change my strategy very much. Um, right, I do need an attractor. So I want someone to come there and fix that later. So something you can do is you can use a mortar here to just make this a little bit easier, but I am fine. I don't think it actually makes any difference because um, it's still the same when you get to the top of the twister anyway. Or top of the rope, not the top of the twister, excuse me. So I've just got to do more... Oh, Upward digs with the twister. Now, right now I remember that's all this level really was. It was just digging up, which is uh, a little bit annoying at times. I've got to remember that this is actually the fan is a little bit more horizontal. It needs to go than it looks. As long as I remember that, I should be good to go. Oh, this is so annoying. I'm. I would also like him to be facing this direction, so when I come out over here... Uh, well, actually, no, I will be using a um, mortar, I think. Oh, oh. I'm running very low on twists, so let's, uh, let's go back to the mortar here. And that's no good. I should have seen that coming. Right, well, that was a twist fail. So I don't want this to be too high up compared to, there you go, just to make it a little bit easier to uh, dig them out, I want that to be down a little bit. And I want to give myself as much room over in this direction as I can. See, once you've got it started, um, it's a lot easier to dig upwards because... Oh, I wasn't pressing the fan, I just moved the mouse out of the way and it has a little wind down, so I end up pushing him north, that's a bit annoying. Um, once you've got started with a diagonal dig, you know where to put the mouse, and it becomes a little bit easier. <sighs> well, I've done alright so far, so I can't be too annoyed really. Uh, I can be annoyed about that though. So this absolutely needs a mortar to get out of. But that's fine, we got loads of mortars. There we go. So 
where are you going to drop? Not that it really matters that much. Um, that is too far. Oh no. Oh, that's so annoying. It's so hard to precision with the... Um, I guess I don't have to be that precise, but I do want to get somewhat close to the edge just to ensure that I've got long enough to rope. But I was a little bit too careful there and I did pay the price, unfortunately. Nope, oh, okay. Be that way then. So I want to set off the attractor when he's at the top of the hill just so that there's no problems when freeing him. go perfect twist I'm glad we have a mortar for this bit here um, very difficult to do this without it Is that too far? Well, that's definitely too far now. Okay, this is really annoying. I can't turn this guy around. Um, actually, that is not true. Um, I can absolutely turn him around. So I was a little bit too worried for no reason before. Oops, well, never mind. I needed to end that at some point anyway. There we go. I can free this guy with a twister that goes along and tries to hook these guys up. But I'll finish the rest of this at first. Perfect. Um, free the attractor. And now we try and do this bit. Whoa! That was uh, not what I expected. Okay. It looks like we need to do a little bit more precise with the twisting. <sighs> that is literally the bottom pixel. So scary. Perfect. We did it. And there we go. That is Highland 8, I think this is. Done. So it's literally just a precision twisting level. I mean, okay, fine. I'm, I've made my thoughts on the twister clear at this point, but you know what? It's still fine as a level. Now I have artillery range. Not very many skills here. Lots of mortars, though. From the preview, I thought this was going to be a big empty space, but of course it's just a lot of steel. Hmm, there's a cannon down here, so I clearly need to use mortars to get into the ground. Someone's going to be mortaring from here. However, there is a staircase that goes upwards, which is interesting. Uh, why is it upwards? Uh, where is the trapdoor? It is up here. So we have no constructor skills at all, I note. Um, someone needs to hop over this to land down here. Um, someone needs to launch a mortar to land through here, I think. Uh, the alternative is, is that someone parachutes down here um, they can blast through here, but then what, right? Like, if someone lands here, how are they getting over this hole? And what would be the point in them coming down here anyway? Uh, it doesn't feel like there's much point. Um, how do I get people down? This is the only problem that I have. 
Um, so I think I can get a lemming down here, but how do I get the crowd down? So thinking about this, the crowd is... Hang on. So with no constructive skills, this crowd is not entirely landlocked because they can blast themselves across. Right, that's what's got to happen here. The crowd has to use an explosion to jump across. Hmm. It's the only thing you can do at the start. But this is a very deadly long splat. So I think there has to be... Now there's, see, there's nothing to mortar against unless... Like, I can see the crowd falling here and amassing right here with a um, an attractor, but then the crowd, someone has to come down here, more to the crowd and have them get blasted into here. Then someone needs to have dug this out, so they have to fire a blast from up here. But we also want someone to be down. Okay, I think I've got an idea. Hang on. That was me talking to myself quite a lot. So I want someone to come down here first. He is just going to walk around there, and I need to wait for the last guy who is going to mortar up here. Is going to fire shots down here, and is then going to parachute himself over here, while this final guy tries to also launch a mortar in the middle of that. Hmm, well, we'll see how this goes. So I need to watch out for when the final lemming comes out. I've not been counting. I've no idea how long I need to wait. Can a mortar? You know what? The last guy can probably... Oh no, he, he can't be stuck over here on his own. I was going to say he could probably be parachuted here, launch a mortar there, but I don't think that'll work. Also, I don't know if this is solid or not. No, it's not the last guy. It's not the last guy. Oh man, there's a lot of lemmings here. There's not much time either, I've noticed. There's more. Gosh, how many are there? I should take a note of what time the last guy falls out. Probably around this time, he says, completely guessing. What I could do is just use fast forward and check. Okay, so it's about 2.35. Mm, timing of this is not great. I think I need to mortar from here. Let's find out. Okay, so that wasn't solid and it did kill someone. Yeah. But I, now that someone's dead, let's check this anyway. Hmm, that did not work. Perhaps this doesn't work. Perhaps they need to be over here. That is very precise. And a bunch of them land up here. Okay. So this is what I have to do. That's fine if he also made it across, which he didn't. So I can get a crowd in here, but how do I get them past here is the real challenge. I think I have to actually parachute someone through here, but that doesn't seem right. But it would make sense for why there's this whole area. You could bounce them off the wall. Um, they can do a long distance mortar to get through. Or they have to... They can save themselves from this pit. So you use two mortars. Okay. Uh, getting over this is, is the main challenge. It's not like it's a hopperable gap. Um, but yeah, getting someone past that. Uh, I think... Let me just try something. So the mortaring from up here doesn't work anyway. I know that much. So I don't actually have to worry for when the last lemming... This might be okay. 
Mm, almost. Oh, I'm just sitting there watching everyone drown. Like, I should probably do something about this. <laughs> and of course, I do not actually have to uh, hopper the very first lemming. There we go, that's sort of what I want. Now what? Hmm. How the well does this work? That is exactly what I wanted. Unfortunately, this guy didn't make it into here, so he can't free the crowd. That's a shame. And the crowd is going to end up on here anyway, which I sort of didn't want. Hmm. Well, we can try and work that out later. This guy's going to do a point blank mortar. There we go, that's fine. And he's going to save himself from here. With the mortar, there we go. Now he can free the crowd. Well, not quite, but he can uh, do this. Um, he did drown that lemming, sadly, who was stuck up there. Oh well. Um, now... Now what? Oh, I see. He mortars here. He needs to hop this gap. And then he mortars this bit. Right. I got it. I worked it out. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make this guy... He's going to do this. Hmm, this may not be right, actually. Well, I mean, it did kind of work. I think I needed to turn him back into a parachute, but he's facing the wrong way. Ah, but he can always mortar from there. Okay. I think I'm, I'm getting there with every attempt, right? I'm getting further. So I do want to be back a little bit, whoops, because I don't want the explosion to be too close to the ground. Hmm, that's not really what I wanted. I guess I did have to be a lot closer. Hmm. What else can I do to fix this? So this is the only bit that I'm a little bit um, not confused about. What does a single mortar do? It doesn't work. Okay. At least I know. So I do actually want to be quite close. Okay, so that, that parachute does not open anywhere nearly as soon as I would have hoped. And I can't use a second hopper here, so you just sort of get stuck down here and there's no other parachuter, so that's no good. Because this here, the parachuting is possible, but it's very difficult. Um, I don't, it doesn't feel right to me that that's sort of what would be being asked there. Maybe it is. Maybe that is actually what we're supposed to do. 
Maybe the fact that the hopper lands here is intended. Let's see, I'll move the hopper forward a little bit. There we go. So he lands closer to the edge and therefore is more likely to escape from the yes, that's it. See he escaped from the um attractor. That was no good. I've got to be very careful, but I should be able to blast someone through there and have only used one hopper. It is very precise though. I hope if that's intended that these get taken out, if possible. Um, but it's probably not intended, but this is all I can think of at the moment. So I want the hopper to be a lot more forward. So he has less distance to walk. There we go, to fall off. He didn't fall off. It is unfortunate, but he might be safe there because the attractor will get freed at some point oh no that is too fast i can't reasonably fan that unfortunately um so that can't be right it was a lot easier when he hopped off this edge um so i think this is wrong it is clear that this is intended for a hopper so what's the idea there isn't anyone who can blast a hole in this. Hmm. Except the the guy himself, but then he sort of just gets stuck in here. Um, and if I go too close to the edge, he blasts himself out, which we don't really want. There's no way to blast him back up. Ah, actually, I've got a better idea. I think I've figured it out. You'll see what I'm going to do. I'm going to blast a hole in here, and then I'm going to fling him through the wall, the hole. That's pretty clever, if that's intended. Now, check this out. Ooh, almost. There we go. Uh, I did use an extra mortar. I do hope I've got one spare, but I could understand it if I don't. So this really is lots of mortar tricks by the looks of it. I want to be a little bit closer to the water's edge this time because I was a little bit too far away. There we go. Now I have to wait for all the lemmings to come out, but it was like 2.35 they all come out, so they'll have all dropped by the time. There we go. And yes, see they've almost all dropped. Um, but I'll just go another loop anyway, to be safe. Yeah, it doesn't take very long to loop around. This is a hop, and this will yeah, disable the hopper. Then I get to mortar up here. Perfect. Everyone survived. Now what? Isn't this the question? How do people get down? One, two, three, four, five. And there's a lot of mortars to get them down that way, so it doesn't feel right. It almost feels like a bit of a trap. Um, I only have four mortars though, and I need like four of them to get through here. Um, I did waste one mortar earlier, so what's the deal here? You can't dig down doing this. Maybe they get down from here. Maybe this is actually not a staircase. This is not a staircase. Well, that makes this a lot easier then, doesn't it? Um, I would recommend finding another way to do this. Like, if necessary, like, extend this. Um, just make it one platform there. Like, one platform there. Make it obvious that they walk down. Right, that is, that is not very obvious at all. Uh, I thought I'd failed. And I'm probably down a mortar here. Yes, so this was exact with the mortars, but I've got the solution. I just had to not waste one on this bit. So, 
There we go, this is a really cool level actually, uh, I've got to say. Very neat tricks in the end. Um, cool to do multiple different things with mortars here. Um, this is very creative, this is very clever. I really like it, well done. Uh, just need to pull it off now. And then we get close to the wall. Ta-da! And also a trick with the parachuter when you bump them off the wall. It's just a thing you can do with the parachuter. Something that would be nice if the release rate was sped up ever so slightly, just so I get to it in time. Um, instead of doing another loop, but I mean, I can slow down. I, I don't have to take the lemming that I do. I could take one a little bit later. Uh, it's probably faster to do that. Okay, whew, I almost screwed that up. Uh, yeah, we will go another loop. Yeah, this would be too early otherwise. Actually, there's quite a lot of time there, so I think the extra loop um, is perfectly reasonable. That is so close. I should probably be mortaring a little bit closer. Um, it's a good thing this hole is so small, actually, to prevent um, unfortunate mistakes. Um, unfortunate accidental splats is what I mean. And it looks like it is our parachuter who will be going first. Which is nice. He's all on his own and he's separated. I can see how this doesn't trigger the... Um, parachuter but I don't think that matters uh, I wanted to be a little bit further back where was I last time about here let's do it from here perfect and that's it uh, close on the time but it's not really that close actually oh yeah there's plenty of time I mean part of that level is waiting for the trap door and it's not like the rest is difficult after that so I think this next one is the last level of Highland. Lock Lemon Storage Tank. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe this is like number nine. Or, oh, hold on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, this is actually level eight. Uh, when I thought that was level eight, it was actually level six. So we still got a while yet for Highland. I think I could do another level. So I know that this is a safe downward passage um, and it's room for a big twist here. Not that it actually gets me anywhere. <laughs> um, there's a big load of water as well. This is clearly... So this looks like it's meant for a hopper. It's actually very difficult to hop over this because the hopper goes a little bit more than one square every time. So he actually might not make it all the way. Um, it's very unfortunate, but that's how it goes. Here's the exit. And this is just a load of land. You can twist up this with enough ropers and twisters. Um, which is probably what we have to do, because I don't think I'm getting through here. And I don't think the crowd is getting through here. Now we have a rock climber, but how do I get someone up here? I can't rope any of this. Maybe I can rope this, actually, thinking about it. It might be possible to do that. So I think that's the first thing I'm going to try. Just check its viability. Because I might be able to rope up this. Uh, I clearly need to get someone. No. Yeah, just as I thought, that is too far. Now we can do a throw here to make the crowd. Um, so the crowd don't walk into the water. But now what? I can hop on top of this. Maybe that is enough to fire something straight up. In which case I would need to throw this more accurately. It did not work. So this is the only problem here is that this is very precise. There we go. And still not enough. But I can stack multiple throws. Uh, the other alternative, I guess, is I need to do something like this. Mm, 
but it is not enough. Okay, so what's next? I can't get through here by the looks of it. That's going to be very unlikely. I don't think I can get through the ceiling. Would be nice if that was extended another two just to absolutely seal the deal there if you can get away with that. Um, I think the crowd has to come down here so you ultimately do have to twist. Um, it would be better crowd control to take the second lemming and just twist a big pit um, if they have to go this way later and leave one guy left. I would really like to rock climb up here is what I think I have to do. So I think I have to throw a bunch to make something that you can hop on and then rope up. That's the only thing that I can see, in which case I don't need to worry about containing the crowd straight away. And it looks like I should probably throw from this. Nope, but that's a good guideline. I actually want them to land there, so I want to throw from just before the top of this hill, I think. So it looked like two would have been enough there, maybe? Ah, perhaps. I can rock climb up this. I cannot. Is he going to climb up this? He is. Okay, so that's interesting. Ah, and then he just falls back down again. <laughs> I can probably hop up this though. No, I can't. But two rocks was enough. So let's throw twice from just before this hill. And I missed. But it looks like that might be enough, actually. So I think I actually do want it like on the top of that hill. Oh, let's get the second one in. There we go. Oh, not quite enough. No, it's still not enough. Okay, I do actually need three throws then. Um, I'm just trying this because I can't really think of anything else at the moment. <laughs> and let's actually do it from the top of this hill. There we go. And I can use three lemmings to do that. Uh, I can make one of them a rock climber and then try to hop onto it. Ah, interesting. Oh, that was the hopper glitch. Uh, the last rock was clearly thrown too far away. I actually want to make a little rock staircase. This is very precise, is the only problem here. Which means that I want each subsequent throw to be just that little bit further away. Or further forward, rather. Here we go, this is looking good. That's no good. What I should do is wait for him to turn around and then make him hop. No, that doesn't work. Well, this was a disaster. Okay, so I, this might be the wrong approach. So what else can I do? Um, building a tower of rocks and then roping up and rock climbing up the rope really does feel like the correct thing to do. Um, I wanna hop across. I can probably just climb up there. So even if the hopper falls down, you just climb up. Um, then he will wanna, ooh, he can't just hop. He can hop, he can throw, so he doesn't walk up. He can hop, he can throw, so he doesn't walk up. And then he's down here. Then he needs to twist down like a staircase and do a single rope. At that point I've used two ropes, I've got three, four to get back up. Now I do note that I have an attractor, but I don't really see the value of the attractor here. Um, this has got to be the thing to do. Like This is all shaped exactly for the rock climber, and there's all this bit. So I feel like what I'm trying to do is correct. It is just how do I get on top of the rocks? I've already got all my ropes accounted for. Um, I need two to get up here. Because um, I have to get up after doing the twist. Because it's got to be a zigzag that's going to use two ropes. There's got to be one there, 
And there's got to be one here. So I can't use any more. I think I need two rocks here to save the rock climber from doing anything stupid. So that means I have to do this with only two rocks. And that is then exact. That's not high enough. Hmm. Maybe it is high enough. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe you can, in fact, correctly hop onto this. That might be doable. I just have to get it exactly right. This is also a little bit, I actually have to take it ever so slightly past the hill. Oh, this is looking good. Ah, uh, why does it not want to attach where I click? That's so annoying. Okay, so I think that means that it only, accept, it only accepts certain angles, so actually I do need the throw to be a little bit closer, like here, that'll do. There we go. I want my hopper to also be a rock climber so that he is ready to start climbing straight away. Ah, he has to be on top of the rock is the problem. Um, and he's not. Like, that is exactly the right height. I wish it were possible to be just a little bit higher. Or this were just like half a block lower, but maybe that's too low. Um, if this is the right thing to do, it would be nice if this weren't quite so pixel perfect. Or I'm completely barking at the wrong tree. This is not what I'm supposed to be doing at all. Ooh, you climbed up that. Well, that's helpful. Okay, so that just isn't high enough. Okay, so that solves that conundrum. So what else can I do? Someone has to have come down here to get the crowd this way. The crowd is absolutely not coming this way. There are no swimming skills. I can't rope any of these. Unless I use another... Roper. Hmm. Can't, I can't just twist down here as a shortcut to doing this stuff. And I only have one more hopper after I've done this, so I can't hop this twice anyway. Uh, this is too far a fall. Um, and I really don't want this person to be a rock climber, so what's going on? This is too far, this is too far. Hmm. So one thing I can do is rock climb up here, go up here. Um, this is clearly not correct, but it is a thing I can do. And then what do I do from here? Um, Hey, look, I made it. And then you die, right? Yes, he does. Still, you know, I got him over here. Uh, it's interesting that he can hop and attach himself to the wall. It's nice. That would be a funny shortcut if that were actually the correct solution. And then I hop again over here, but that's, that's clearly not it. I'm just wondering if this is in any way relevant at all, um, secretly, but it can't be, right? There's no reason to go up here. Um, so not only do I not have enough throwers if I stack three, um, but I also don't have enough hoppers to get around this bit. But I will try my hardest to do three um, three rock throws and we can start a little bit further back and then add a little bit of distance after each one and we want it so that the rock climber wants to walk up himself okay it's a little bit challenging to get the rock climber to um, walk up 
the thing himself. But if I land this in exactly the right place, like here, there is a chance, and I needed a little bit more distance, but I think it is actually possible to get a rock climber to climb up your rock staircase. This is a lot of precision throwing though, it's very unfortunate. I have to add a little bit more walking. Mm, that's unfortunate. But, oh in fact he doesn't even need to climb to get up there. But you can see the sort of thing that I'm trying to do, just with very very precise throws. That's looking good, actually. Oh. Oh. Hmm, okay, so anything that the rock climber can get up, it looks like everyone else probably can as well, um, which is a little bit worrying, because that's really not what we want. Hmm. The climber has to be able to come up on his own and then rope up. Maybe you do actually just need all four, but then I don't know how I'm getting the climber to climb up it. Okay, so what's next? There's only one thing left to try. And that is to see if I can go the shortcut. So, is this actually just um, exploitable? The fact that there's a little bit of ground here. No, no, no. Very close, though. Not sure what I'm trying to do now. Patch this hole up and just see if this is possible. No, he does hit the steel way sooner than I would like. Yeah, so this is not possible. Okay, well that's good that that's not possible. So what's left to consider? Um, four throws from here is the next thing to consider. Uh, so let's try that. But I will first just trap the crowd with a twist because they're going to need to be in the hole anyway at some point. There we go. Now it's time for a quadruple throw. Standing back a bit to give him time. Not even remotely close. Um, it adds a little bit of distance, but no, not even close. We can try it again. And we can just stack more of them, but uh, yeah, it's not close, and we've run out of things to save ourselves from this. Because he would need to be a rock climber. I don't even know if I can get through this gap. Um, it looks like I might be able to. I think there is one pixel hole there. Um, yeah. It would be nicer if this was in just another straight red line that they can climb up, to be honest. Um, rather than this. Just to remove any ambiguity about that single pixel gap. And I'm basically out of ideas now, so I think I will end this video here for now. Um, we did get a little bit further through Highland, which is nice. Um, and I'll ask just another level that I'll have to think about more, or I can go back to Classic next time and get past the first level. Alright, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.